Hi everyone, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial of DocuWare. And what I really want you to take away from this is just a basic orientation to the software, understanding the interface, and also some good tips for how to search and find the right documents that you're looking for for uh, your clients. So when you first click the link for DocuWare, um, this is our login page here. and um, there is actually no username or password required. Uh, that's because the IT team has set up DocuWare so that as soon as you log in to the computer in the morning or in the afternoon, um, your login credentials there will automatically give you access to DocuWare. And so rather than, like if the first time you go to the page, if it, if it looks like this, uh, go to this drop down menu, change it to Windows Account, do nothing else, and just click Login. When you uh, first get brought into the page, you'll notice um, the screen is kind of split into two regions. There's this side on the left here, which is going to be for searching and searching results. And then this area on the right here is going to be for viewing the client documents. And this is handy. Um, you can change, um, change how the sides of the screen are split. And before we jump into doing some test searches, just take a look around here and you'll see that there's a toolbar around here. We'll get into this when we're actually viewing uh, client documentation. And up here we have a little settings window. This is something that you could look around in here with. The most important thing would be help here. If you go here, uh, these are help resources put together by DocuWare. That's not managed by Actors Fund at all and you can also play around with your own settings and your profile. We're not going to get into that just yet. So when you want to do a first search, um, click up here in this little blue rectangle where it says searches, and um, you'll only have one file cabinet here, a social services standard search dialog. And so this is, these are all the different ways that we can search for client information in DocuWare. So let's look at these categories first. There's doc type. Uh, doc type is going to have different categories like application, like earnings, uh, financial request, uh, medical treatments and benefits documents, um, and also a category for miscellaneous too. A client ID. This is a field that comes straight from ETO. You can search by client ID in here the same way that you would in ETO. You can also search by social security number. Uh, first name and last name. And then getting down here, these are some areas that are um, maybe like you'll use these in specialized um, situations. Uh, you could search for documents based on the amount of pages that they have saved in there, which is less commonly used, but it's available. You can also search full text. This is a really powerful search tool. I'm going to really demonstrate this in a little bit, but Basically, DocuWare will let you search within all documents for any specific word. Um, the key thing here for DocuWare is that the text has to be typed. DocuWare does not recognize handwritten um, text. It all has to be typed. But I'm going to get into that uh, in a little bit. And then the final search category here is store date. So you could search for um, uh, any paperwork that may have been stored between, you know, let's say, like, last Friday and today. And this is a really powerful search tool when you use it in combination with a, a client's name. Because that way you can say, oh, well, let me just look for my client's information, but the information that was saved and scanned in the last week, rather than all time results. So let's do our first little test here. And I put together some sample documents. I didn't want to expose any client information for this video. That would really not be good best practices. And so I'm going to use some, some fake client names. But let's just imagine that you have gotten an intake call, or maybe um, someone on your caseload is reaching back out to you. And, or if this is someone who was on a previous social worker's caseload and you're taking them over, and you just want to look up a history of services that they may have received. And so the first thing you can do is, well, let's just search for this client's name. So I'm going to say uh, this client's name is fake sample. 
and notice how this window comes up. docuware is ah giving suggestions for um whatever you type in here it's gonna search through its whole index and make suggestions for if what you've typed already has some responses saved in there and so when you type in these search categories here then you have to click search these are the results that we get it looks these are our search results so all of these six documents here are saved under the client name of fake sample and you can also see the client ID here and if there was a social security number saved as well um, that would be showing up here and then you can see these document types like an application, an earnings, financial requests um, you may be wondering well I'm clicking on these search results why can't I see anything and the simple answer is that you have to double click so I double click on application and what comes up here is a cover sheet so this is a cover sheet that we use when we scan the materials um, pretty much every document that you see that's going to be scanned from 2019 moving forwards should have a cover sheet it may look like this it may be in a different format but this is a sheet that is used um, by the scanner to automatically uh, recognize hey this is an application for this client and it automatically indexes it in docuware which to index just means to categorize it and make it searchable kind of like a Dewey decimal system except for docuware and so knowing that this is um, just fake documentation um, we can still learn a little bit about the interface so when we double click on this search result notice how up here we have these arrows and up here it says one out of two this is the numbers of pages that are in this document so right now we're looking at page one out of two and these arrows here are what let us page through and so I'm gonna click onto the next page and of course this is just a sample document uh, it says test up here but this is a letter um, you know I just used a sample documentation but um, really what we're able to do here is you know this maybe this is a little bit too small it's a little bit hard to read so using these plus and minus symbols up here I'm gonna just zoom in and zoom out until I get it to um, an area that's easiest to read and um, you know if you're looking at client documents these may be like 10 15 20 pages long um, that would be really helpful for her using these arrows to page through here and let's say we wanted to look at this client's earnings as well so we can go back over here to the search results double click and it's going to pull up the information here for you and now let's say what if we wanted to do a more advanced search um, let's say thanks very much I can see all these search results for this client but let's say I wanted to just jump straight to um, some information that I have in mind like um, for example in New York there's a theater company named Ju Jamson and let's say if we would just want to find out well let me just see uh, all of the documents that we have for this one client that relate to Ju Jamson so to make a search I'm gonna type in a client name which is Testy McTesterson I'm just gonna go along with DocuWare's suggestions here and then I'm going to use this full text search feature again by searching for all documents for uh, this client name and searching and adding some text in this field it's going to just bring me straight to any search results that have that typed word in it I'm going to click search looks like there's only one result for this client that has Ju Jamson saved in it I'm going to double click and here is what we get let's zoom out a little bit so what we have here this is a letter saying that Ju Jamson Theater provided financial assistance for this client and you can see that our um, search specifically for the word Ju Jamson um, gets highlighted here this um, pinkish highlighting is our current search result and the yellow highlights all of the next search results here and you may be wondering well how can I um, jump around and jump through 
to all of the next search results. This would be really helpful if you're looking at 40 pages of scanned documents and you just want to jump ahead. Maybe if you're searching for the word financial and you want to just see all the financial assistance. The way to do that is actually in this toolbar over here. So the key ones here for this full text search uh, relates to this magnifying glass here, which is start full text search. We already did that on the left. And the second magnifying glass, which has the arrow coming out of it, this is full text search continue. So this is basically just going to jump us forward to the next search result. I'm going to click it. And our pink highlighting is jumping forward. And again, imagine doing this sort of search result when you're looking at 40 pages of documents. So let's do another search here. Let's say I have I'm going to clear these search results and let's say I'm trying to find a client and I just want to see all of their financial assistance that we have. So I'm going to search for uh, this client's name which is Dan and his last name is Dunn and I'm also going to search for the document type. I just want to find the financial request. Yes, go with that DocuWare suggestion. So this is a search that should give everything for this client with this name and all documents that we have saved in DocuWare with this document type. Again, this is a more efficient way to search. Before I click search, notice how this is holding on to this view of what we were just looking at. If you want to make that go away, you can click that X right here. Notice how our toolbar went all gray. That's because there's nothing visible, so there's nothing to apply the toolbar for. So back to our search. Financial request, Dan, done. Search. And we get one search result. Remember, you have to double click on the search result to make it visible over here. What comes up first is this cover page. And we're going to go to these arrows along the top to page through. And if this were an actual client document and not just a sample, what we would see here would most likely be the financial assistance request form, formerly known as the green sheet. It's not green anymore because we scan everything in grayscale. So everything is, um, we're going to be labeling them as financial assistance requests. So this is what I wanted you uh, to experience here. Um, expect some more training videos to come, but this has been your orientation to how to use DocuWare and its interface.